You first. Thank you, Mr. President. I have a question for the Prime Minister, but first a two-part question for you. Uh, your comments at a fundraiser this week appear to be the first time in recent memory that a sitting U.S. president has called a Chinese leader a dictator. Uh, did those comments about President Xi undermine or complicate the progress your administration has made in maintaining a relationship with China? And secondly, on India, as you raise these broader issues of human rights and democracy, what is your message to those, including some members of your own party, who say that your administration is overlooking the targeting of religious minorities and crackdown on dissent in Prime Minister Modi's country? The answer to your first question is no. Uh, you know, uh, when we're talking to our allies and, and partners around the world, including India, uh, we let the uh, uh, the idea of my choosing and avoiding saying what I think is the facts with regard to the relationship with India with uh, China is uh, is just not uh, something I'm going to uh, change very much. Um, I think we uh, I believe that, and I've said this for some time that the hysteria about the relationship with China is collapsing and moving, et cetera, et cetera. We had an incident that uh, caused uh, some, uh, some confusion, you might say. But, President, but the Secretary Blinken had a great trip to China. I expect to be meeting with President Xi sometime in the future, in the near term, and uh, I don't think it's had any real consequence. Uh, and what was your second question? So as you raise these broader issues on, of human rights and democracy, what is your message to those, including some members of your own party, who believe that your administration is overlooking the targeting of religious minorities and a crackdown on dissent in India? Well, look, uh, the Prime Minister and I had a good discussion about democratic values. And, uh, and there is, a, there is the, uh, that's the nature of our 